Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is the first part of the advanced course on design of surface permanent magnet synchronous motors, PMSMs. In this course, we will learn how to design and properly size for case study motors. The first one is an inner rotor surface PMSM with distributed winding. The second case study motor is an outer rotor surface PMSM also with distributed winding. The third one is an inner rotor surface PMSM with fractional slot concentrated winding. Yes, we have some advantages for this kind of motors, as you know. The last one is an outer rotor surface PMSM with also fractional slot concentrated winding. So we will learn design and advanced optimization of these four case study motors in this course. So in this course, we will utilize both fast numerical methods and finite element analysis for advanced optimization. By fast numerical methods, I mean the methods that are used for quick calculation of the air gap field. As you know, in these motors, because the geometry is not too complex, like IPM motors, we can use numerical methods such as the finite different method or other even analytic methods to calculate the air gap field and then knowing the radial and tangential components of the air gap field we can calculate other motor parameters such as the back EMF constant, the inductance of each phase, mutual inductance, the back EMF waveforms and so on. So we can take advantage of these numerical methods for advanced optimization. Also we use the finite element analysis for more precise design. You know, we have nonlinear materials and we have nonlinearity effects that is hard to consider with the analytic methods. So we will compare the results that we derive with numerical methods with the results that we calculate using the finite element analysis. So I will explain how we can effectively use these methods and also use the finite element analysis for design of this motor type. So now let's discuss the pre-requests of this course. You need to know basic MATLAB programming. However, we will develop the code together during the course, but you need to know the basic MATLAB programming. And you need to watch two series of videos. We have two courses on channel. The first one is three-phase induction motor design course. You need to watch videos from 1 to 12, okay? And also, there is another course, the radial flux 
Synchronous Reluctance Motors and PM Assisted Synchronous Reluctance Motors Design Course You need to watch the videos from 1 to 11 So actually in Induction Motor Design Course we discuss how to size the stator core and how to calculate parameters of the winding so we don't need to repeat those concepts again here and let's save time and discuss more advanced topics in the synchronous reluctance motor design course also i explained the object oriented programming in matlab right and also the sensitivity analysis so you need to watch also these videos because in this course also i will use the object oriented programming and we need the, this kind of programming for advanced optimization so let's review the properties of the first case study motor the course objective number one that is an inner rotor motor with distributed winding the rated output power is 600 watt the rated speed the base speed is 4500 rpm the rated torque of the motor is 1.2 newton meter the voltage of the dc link is 240 volt the efficiency the desired efficiency should be higher than or equal to 92 percent so we will start by designing this motor also here we have the electromagnetic design procedure this Fellow chart is very important and during the course I will explain different parts of this fellow chart how to write functions for optimizations here we can minimize the weight of the active parts maximize the efficiency and so on I explained this fellow chart also in these courses that we discussed this one and this one so you can watch the related videos first and let's start design of this motor in the next video thanks for watching